is Ben Shapiro reading the lyrics of the song that is on neat. his radio show. And then one of the best memesters around, Grande, yes, edited the, Grande meme. the lyrics yes. to the song. So let's go ahead and play that. Um, we'll put it on the screen. Oh, AJ, this is my first time. AJ, this is my first time seeing it. Gra AJ, are you ready? Gra Grande is like PewDiePie's meme master. Like, yeah. Here we go. Horrors in this house. There's some 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 horrors in this house. I said certified freak. There's some seven days a week. Wet ass p word. Make that pullout game weak. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you effin' with some wet ass P word. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up, N word, catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top if I wanna ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive. It continues uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like, oh, a lot more vulgar. <laughs> Richard, your face I is haven't heard the right now. I haven't even heard the original song. And you I'm just, heard the... And I'm, and I'm just listening. I've literally not heard oh, the original. Oh, you haven't even heard the song? Not the music oh, video, not shit. the song. No, this is my first, this is my I first exposure the song, to it. No, I've heard yeah, nothing. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the words. That's the lyrics. And uh, Ben Shapiro just Red. kills it. Absolutely kills it. I like how he's it. like, P word, N word, B word. He says ass, but he does. He goes, "You are effing with some wet ass p word." Like he'll say ass, but he doesn't say pussy, and he won't say anything else. I think really. there's probably something like maybe he, they say like, ass in the Bible or something. Bring a know. bucket and a mop for this wet ass p word. <laughs> and he, he t and later on in this little radio show thing, he's like, "My wife happens to be a doctor, and I asked her about this, and it's really interesting um, uh, that you know they would say this because any any sort of vaginal wetness that would require a bucket and a mop is obviously a gynecological problem." Problem. This is, you know, he's like taking it so literally, and it's like they're not saying that they're literally dripping so much you need a bucket and a mop. They're just saying that their pussy's super wet. Like the, the the lyrics are exaggerated, obviously. I think in this same, it's like literally, literally in a song, Lil Wayne says his dick is the size of Eiffel Tower, so I'm gonna fuck the world for 72 hours. Yeah, that's Kendrick. Kendrick says that. Sorry, not Lil Wayne. You think Kendrick Lamar's penis is the size of size of the Eiffel Tower? No. Yeah, it's that, a song. Th that's the whole thing that it's like. It, I'm, I'm concerned about their genitals. If their if their pussies are that wide, they like need a bucket so, in the mop. So I think about all of Such all of low. all the things that men rap about in their music is usually twofold. It's one to impress men and two to impress women. They want to get women, so they talk about all these things. I think these female rappers, these women uh, like Cardi and Megan, are deciding. They're like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna start bragging about things that dudes want. You know oh, yeah. that women that women women want to be like us and dudes want to fuck us in the same way that that guys are like guys want to be like us and girls want to fuck us. It's the same game, but the reason it's controversial is because a woman's doing it instead of a guy doing it. Yeah, and one of the best tweets that came out of this was there was like a senator or somebody somebody that was like in the government or something. He came out and said something like he was like, "There's this song called WAP that I accidentally listened to this week or whatever," and it was like, "Dude, accidentally listened to just." Say you listen to it. Don't say accident. I accidentally listened to the song, and I have to say it's a disgrace. Why do you have to say you accidentally listen to it? So there's this place in Atlanta, <laughs> one of my favorite ice cream places, called Jenny's Ice Cream, and I fuck heavy with Jenny's Ice Cream. And they put out a tweet that said, "Tell your parents WAP stands for whiskey and pecans." That's funny. Because <laughs> I guess that's they a, have a flavor. flavor that they have. So that's and, the, and the title is "Don't Google It." <laughs> yeah. No, the funny thing was um, someone on this Facebook group that I was in thought it meant something else and they were have, constructing this whole argument about it and it's like, you fucking dumbasses, it means wet ass pussy. Your whole argument is invalid. But you know what's funny? I was hanging out with my friend Nicole yesterday and we were talking about it and in the version on YouTube with the music video, oh, yeah. they don't say wet ass pussy, they say wet and gushy. Because I think pussy would like get them like demonetized or censored or something. Like I don't know if you can well, say pussy you on YouTube think about, so many uh, times. Ra radio plays. And the radio. Radio plays. Exactly. They, they, so, they so want the, a record. They the song get, is yeah. wet and gushy, which is almost you like. You want to come over for this wet and gushy. And it's almost grosser. Like it's almost more vulgar to say wet and gushy. It's like, ooh, gushy. Ooh, ooh. 
Like pussy just sounds like normal to me. I don't know. But yeah, mm. wet and gushy. And then we were walking, we were, we were taking a walk and we were talking about it. And then I was saying something and she goes, oh my gosh, I just realized what, what WAP stands for. And I'm like, you just realized it? And she goes, yeah, well, in the song that I saw, it didn't say that. And I'm wet. like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I just thought it was hilarious. But um, yeah, we were talking about it and it's like, I think this is like, it's leveling up. It, it's, it's, it's definitely one of those like watershed moments where it just pushes everything forward and one more level. I've got something that I thought about when you were telling me about how for like radio and YouTube, they've made it wet and gushy, but like the explicit version is, is wet ass pussy. Yeah. And I think about how you and I are very much about like, Hey, people don't tell us what to do. Like any, yeah. any deal, any brand, any sponsor, any, anything we do with anyone, they're like, you need to monitor your language. We're like, and go fuck yourself. Like, yeah. no. And it's like, if, the two most vulgar rapper women in the entire world are willing to edit themselves for the si like record an entire new song like they were in the booth in the studio well, they had to re sing well, the lyrics well what is their priority what's their priority it's the label's priority honestly first of all it's the label's priority to get a radio song and a youtube song that that makes them money it's a label's priority so but but the, yeah but, but what's but the, the pri but okay whatever what's the priority the priority the priority is to make money Mm -hmm. And to get more radio plays and like get a number one single or something. You can't really, I don't know if you'd be, it's, you know, it's like the, it's like the compromise of like, we could put three F words in this movie and it will be rated R, but if we just cut one of them and only have two, then it's PG-13. It's probably going to do way better in the box office. Fine. I think PG-13s get one F word. Two. AJ, AJ two. confirmed. AJ's a movie buff. Movie guy. Cause I'm pretty sure, yeah. Cause can they show? Can they shoot? They can't show boobs in PG-13, can they? No, I don't think you can show boobs. Because then it'd be you nudity, can, and that's oh, yeah. under the. You can radar show a of, butt though, I think, right? Yeah, pretty sure you can. Yeah, that's a weird line. I remember there was a, a certain movie that they it was only rated R because it had three F words, but the director was like not gonna budge on it. He's like, no, I want the other. I want the F word in it. It's pretty funny. Like, Anyways. like when he's writing the script, it was like real strategic. It was like I guess he was just like, no, I'm not going to. They're like, well, you know, if you just cut this one F word, like we could probably do way better. And he's like, nah, right. Well, I want to do it my way. But, but you were saying about how like the goal was to make money. And one of the parts of wheels to walking is, is that this is a career for me. Oh, along with also, well, I, was saying that I wasn't also saying that the number one thing was to make money. It was the number one thing is to get a number one single, right? Like, I, yeah, money, but also number one single, like you it would be billboard plays, would be radio plays, all that factors in, and you're not going to get radio plays if you're saying pussy. Correct. But let me just finish. Or even point. ass. I yeah. don't know. So it's like, do like, it, it's to help the community and to make a career out of this for myself. It's, it's, it's too full. Yeah. Um, and the, I still want to do what I want to do. I still want to say what I want to say. We've obviously on the main channel. We we used to cuss. Now we kind of like we don't like we bleep them sometimes. But other times we just cut the audio. So it's like yeah, it's like do we? It's like are we are we potentially fucking with our own money? I mean, obviously not in podcast land. Podcast land. Yeah, I think podca short term po podcast land is a different thing. It's like yeah, in the short term we could be fucking with our money, but also in the long term it's like I don't know, dude. I just I dig authenticity a lot. Like I really fuck with the idea of authenticity. Like even like the Gary Vee approach where he's like. I'll cuss in front of my kids. I'll cuss in front of my clients. I, I cuss on the internet. The thing it's is, like, is it's I, like, I, I look at a lot of successful podcasts and the podcasts that I listen to, I don't like it when podcasts are self-censoring. Like it actively pisses me off I'm in no and way, I don't want to listen to them. I'm in no so way like, suggesting anything about this I know, podcast. I know. I'm just saying on the main channel, it's like, well, we've already made that decision on the main channel. I know, I know. I'm just thinking about, I just think about it because it's like, if people like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, like if those two people are like, you know what? We'll, we'll sing a different verse for the, you know, for They're the, playing in a different world, though. They're still playing in radio world, mm -hmm. like, unfortunately. Like, Spotify doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, because radio is the equivalent of TV for us. Like, if people were, like, on, Kinda, if we were yeah. on Discovery Channel or History Channel, we're on Wheels to Walking Channel, by and the way. And also, you've got, you know, the other weird thing about music that, you know, I thought about a lot, this a lot when I was a kid. I was like, because I had songs that I wanted to listen to, but my parents wouldn't let me listen to them. Because they were explicit. And they were explicit or whatever. And I was like, why do artists make songs that are explicit? Why wouldn't they just make it so everyone could listen to it? They'd get m more plays and money. But it's like, now I realize it's like, oh, because like, 
fuck them kids. Like, but, I, <laughs> but I tell you what, though. Ex, explicit, I don't care if kids are listening to my music ex, or not. Ex, explicit lyrics drive me crazy. It's like, I, especially Wait, when, I when this shoot? God damn. yeah, when they bleep it or if they like cut the audio on it, it's like, I know what they said. I like, I, I know like when, when I, when I got mad at the pizza, I was like, fucking bitch. But you like bleeped it out when just beep deep. Like people know what Freaking the, bird. people know what the fuck I said. Like people, like you'd have to be a dummy. Not Did to, you hear what I fucking said? Right. Like people, people, like, you know, I just get so mad at that. And then, um, so I would only buy like explicit stuff. My, my, when I was shopping for CDs, I was always looking for the, the parental advisory. Yeah. The parental advisory, which is so fun. That's a totally like a Nancy Reagan thing. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. We need to save these kids and tell well, people there's cuss words I, on this I get album. The parental but, advisory because yeah. then it makes it easier for parents. Because then parents can go, oh, it's got the thing. No, you can't listen to it yet. You know what I mean? Like, but that that goes back to all the way to like the sheltering of kids. Like, it's a word. Yeah, but 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 also it's a, it's a but word. also there are things that kids should be fucking sheltered from. Like a hundred percent. Like it's not necessarily the word. It's about what they're rapping about. Like if they're just saying fuck, like, okay, fine. But are they talking about fucking pussy and they're talking about doing drugs and gang banging and shooting people and killing people? Like it normalizes that's bad. not very it, appropriate. It, it normalizes for kids. bad stuff. Yeah. It, it, and it's like, yeah, it normalizes like arguably very bad things. Like there's a reason why you, you wouldn't let a five-year-old play Grand Theft Auto. Like you just, <laughs> you just probably shouldn't like, all, more power to you if you if you want to let your five year old play Grand Theft Auto and you teach him a lesson about like you know why these things are bad and why it's fun to just play it in a video game but you shouldn't do it in real life. I think there's a valuable lesson there, but I don't know if at five years old that's the appropriate age for that. I think that's you know you got to play it by ear based on your style of parenting. But like there's a reason why the parental advisory thing is on there, not just for uh, language. I think. You know, I think language is a factor of it, but it's like reasons why games are rated M and things like that. It's movies, like there's movies, rated R. movies are rated R. Like, you know, I understand that currently if kids want to seek things out, they're going to find it anyways. Um, but I think the parental advisory type things are typically more for the parents so that they can easily just glance at something and know that like, oh, they're even warning me that I probably shouldn't let my kid listen to this. Like. I'm not going to let my kid listen to it or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. Just making things easier on the parents. But, um, yeah, I, I it, it, it is easily it is, quick identifiable. It is very thing. funny, but here's the thing. Like all these parents are talking about how like Megan, the stallion and Cardi B, they need to be better role models. They never asked to be fucking role models. Cardi B. They're self proclaimed whores. Retired like, from stripping to rap. Like. Yeah. They're literally in the background beat of the song is there's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Like, that's why Ben Shapiro was saying that. Like, literally, the the background vocal of the entire song is a guy saying there's some whores in this house. They're calling themselves whores in the song. Like, they are self-proclaimed whores, which is fine. You know, taking it back, taking back the power of a word that typically is used to demean people or whatever. Like, you know, s taking back the word slut or bitch or whatever. Like, I'm more power to you on all of that. But it's like... Yo, if you are allowing your kids to have Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion be their role models, that's the real problem rather than like, these women need to act different and these women... No, you need to be better at policing what your kids are watching. And I understand that it's very hard in the age of the internet to completely monitor everything your kids are watching, but um, that's just the world we live in and those are just the circumstances that we're under. I mean, it's the same thing as like, you know, these kids... Porn stars need to be more respectful and not do porn. It's like, why? Because mm. my kid can watch it. Well, why can your kid watch it? Like, you need to be a better parent, not the other way around. Like, you, you know, instead of, instead of like policing other people, you got to understand how to police yourself and understand your own things. Like, alcohol should be banned because I'm an alcoholic. And if I even have a sip of alcohol, if I'm tempted, I'm going to relapse. And it's like, Okay, but these other people like don't aren't alcoholics and they don't mm -hmm. have a problem with having a couple beers. It's a personal it's personal responsibility. It's governmental paternalism that is like the problem, you know? Yeah. It's like when the government steps in and is like, uh, uh, uh you shouldn't do this." Like that's where there's such a weird double standard. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. If you want to watch more clips, we got two more right over here. <laughs>